everybody, welcome to Brick Vault, my name is Mike and today we have the review for a set of the Jungle Dim from City from 2017, that is the Jungle Cargo Helicopter, great little set, we have built this guy on a live stream so you can check out the recording on our Twitch account, I'm gonna leave a link below, but for now let's check out the short time lapse and of course the review. And here is the finished set. We get uh, three main pieces plus two minifigs. I like the Django minifigs a lot, I have to say. Those prints are excellent. The Explorer and the pilot with all the harness and her jumpsuit looks really good, but the helicopter pretty much takes the cake. Even though it's a small build and looks very simple, the look is quite unique because of the cargo function. We have some technique wheels to accommodate for this space for the cargo. The cargo here is only one single crate here but I think this helicopter can pretty much carry much bigger payloads. Then we have the quad that is uh, one of the best looking ones I have to say and a small piece of jungle as usual with the ever present nasty spider. But of course let's start the review with the main part of the build that is the helicopter. And this guy here looks quite fun I have to say that is a simple build but yet I like the look and the shaping uh, it's one of the most unique uh, vehicles I have seen in LEGO form, so that is a great uh, aspect of it. And of course we have the um, tow function or the cargo function, that is the this hook here. And the function works pretty simple, we have those rotary pieces or cogs on both sides actually. So you can lift the hook and lower it using both of these uh, pieces of mechanism. That is a great addition and makes it quite simple to carry the cargo. The canopy piece is the one that we have seen a number of times previously. It opens up this way and then there is a space for the pilot. Only a single lever inside for steering, so that is as simple as, as it can get. There is the fuel cap for the helicopter and there is also one logo with the... not a logo, it's actually a set number with some details for the engine access uh, hatch right here. And it looks pretty good. I still think that the color of the stickers in the current line and the actual color of bricks match pretty well and doesn't make them look too bad. The main rotor is a four blade rotor type and I like the fact that we have those safety stripes at the tip of each wing. Only container we get in this set is this small tool guy here. The helicopter can fly in, pick it up really easy by using the hook and fly away. I think the hook is looks so nice and the carry function can pretty much carry much higher payloads. So maybe this guy could even work with the cargo terminal set that we got this year, only if we equipped the containers with some sort of attachment to get the hook onto, that would be pretty sweet. I think we can even try getting the quad onto the cargo hook because it has some rails on the side that make it, well, carryable. But speaking of the quad itself, I think that is one of the best builds of this simple vehicle that we have seen for a while now. It's highly detailed even though for the size of it, uh, you get the machete in the back as an equipment, there is some railing along the sides to uh, keep the minifigs attached to it or perhaps even the helicopter as I shown previously. The simple headlights are also adding to the looks and this piece that makes up the front section of the hull of the vehicle. Well, I think this guy, even though so small, is a really good addition. And the third part of the set, as with the most jungle sets, is this small piece of jungle. This time around we have a small shrine or a temple with a hidden treasure. And this time around we don't have a game, but this small golden, uh, some sort of a holy grail, just a golden cup that is probably highly valued and hiding behind this piece of foliage. And of course we get the ever-present nasty red spider that is present in all the jungle sets. Otherwise, nothing much else here going on, but I liked this uh, simple shrine build that is contrasting with the tan color against the dark brown and the green of the jungle. 
There are too many figures in this set both with very high quality prints and the outfit for the jungle explorer is very different than the outfit for the pilot. The jungle explorer is a great thing, we have seen him in previous sets of the jungle line but I think that's one of my favorite ones from the current CD theme and this guy comes with a number of pouches on his uh, jacket, there is a rope hanging over his shoulder, a radio, a number of stuff that is very highly detailed. He also comes with a machete and a one single face expression of this uh, birded guy, plus a tan cap and dark blue legs. The female helicopter pilot looks even better, I think so. The harness, the print for her harness is very nicely done. I like a lot of those small details in silver that make up for those hooks and zippers. Plus we get a very nicely printed jumpsuit underneath and overall one of the best looking pilot figs I have seen. We can use that print in a number of jet sets maybe in the future to get this uh, very realistic pilot look. She comes with one single face expression that is quite common and a classic white helmet with a visor. Overall I think the set looks pretty good, if you want to get a unique helicopter that is a way to go, plus if you are collecting jungle sets, which I think is a good theme for this year, you can easily pick this one up for the price, you get quite a good set, cool minifix, great helicopter and a very nice build for this small ATV, I think it is quite recommended. Alright and that is it for the review of this small but good looking set, I like this one a lot. If you like the review don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. My name is Mike and I'll see you again on Brick Vault.